Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to create their own charitable foundation after splitting from Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge is symbolic of something far more deep, a royal expert has confirmed. Biographer Tom Bauer made the revelation on ITV's Good Morning Britain on Friday, and appeared to be thoroughly skeptical of the integrity of the royal family and, in particular, the bond between the Sussexes and the Cambridges. He explained, the whole point is simply that there is no doubt that when Meghan arrived I'm sure it was a great love affair and still is but it doesn't matter what happens today or tomorrow, it's what happens over the long term. And it's not healthy to have these stories of rivalry. And to split the foundation was absolutely unnecessary, it was symbolic of something probably far more deep. When challenged with the argument that Meghan and Harry simply won different careers from Prince William and Kate Middleton, Mr. Bauer snapped. There's only one career, and that is to serve the country. To make us all feel that this family symbolizes the best of Britain and all the rest of it. And the whole problem with Charles was that he kept on doing this separate stuff and causing all this trouble. And the one thing she shouldn't do is follow in Charles' footsteps. The Sussex and Cambridge households have been plagued by rumors of a rift since Meghan Markle joined the royal family after her marriage to Prince Harry in 2018. Royal commentators originally suggested the rift was the result of a fallout between Meghan and sister-in-law Kate, but over the past few months speculation grew about a break between the two brothers. The announcement of the separation of the two households and Meghan and Harry's commitment to found a new organization contributed to the reports of a rift, according to royal expert Katie Nichol. Miss Nichol, the author of 2010 book William and Harry, said, had they announced that there was going to be a separate household at the time of the wedding, or shortly after, and a new charitable foundation, it would have felt very natural. It would have felt very timely and possibly we wouldn't have had this whole narrative and the rumors of the rift being fueled. She continued, I think you are right and people are probably saying you know, is there now a separate foundation because as a foursome they do not get on? All of that would have been avoided, had the announcement they would be a separate household and a separate foundation before. Meghan Markle and Harry's decision to relocate from Kensington Palace shortly before the birth of their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, in May additionally fueled speculation of a growing rift between the two families. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex set up their new home in Windsor, at Frogmore Cottage, and hired a new PR manager to take care of the public image. The couple shuffled their communication office from Kensington Palace to Buckingham Palace and had former Hillary Clinton adviser Sarah Latham take the reins of their relationship with the public. Ms. Latham directly answers to the Queen's communications secretary, Donald McCabe, who joined the household staff after the Duke of Edinburgh was involved in a car crash at Sandringham.